your manager calls you and says this this post. How embarrassing is that? I'm like, you know, I'm so proud of you for sharing that you prolapsed your anus, dude. It's not my anus. <laughs> This is Howie Mandel. Howie Mandel does stuff. I'm Howie Mandel, and eating next to me is what? <laughs> Jacqueline Schultz. She's got a mouthful. I wasn't ready. Jacqueline Schultz, my daughter, <laughs> and in the honorary guest chair is the lovely Teddy Swims. Oh, thanks for having me. No, thanks for being here. I got to tell you, Teddy, um, I, I became aware of you on the internet before I knew there was a way to... Uh, hear you well now you have albums and you're touring and you're doing things but probably one of the best singers you have a, an amazing instrument and the, the first thing that i heard him i don't know if you followed him on youtube uh, you sang a shania twain song that's right yeah sure did and it changed my life in so many ways. was it that yeah. song that changed yeah, it? it really did man i think right now on youtube the original version has over 100 million views on it and it i mean it's been the whole thing i it was something my mom, you know, raised me up on, and so I just kind of wanted to do it. And the first original video, I said, I just wanted to get dedicate this to my mother. I love her, and she's my best friend in the world. And it just turned into. So your mother was the Shania Twain fan. Yeah, and then and it just it, my dedication to her. I think maybe that's maybe that's what gave the feeling that people. You're from Atlanta. Yes. yes you were sir. raised in Atlanta. Yes, sir. Your mother. So is is your first love country music? Um, there's a lot of. I mean, I'm, I'm so from like. We're, we're Metro Atlanta, but my, my hometown is Conyers, Georgia, but, uh, Rockdale County, Georgia. And, uh, um, I mean, yeah, I've raised a lot on, on country music, but, uh, my dad also, my dad, I used to go to my dad's on the weekends and that was my time to, my mom's side of the family, her dad was a Pentecostal pastor. So my, my dad's, I could go on the weekends and that's when you could, you know, listen to music. Maybe you weren't supposed to, uh, eat as many ice creams as you want. He'd, he'd let us kind of be, you know, uh, he put me on a like real sex music and like, you know, hip hop and like R and B and soul music. Real and, sex music? Yeah. Is that what you <laughs> call that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? sex music. Is it sex music? <laughs> well, I mean, hip hop and R and B, soul music, you know, um, <laughs> He Would put you, me on the stuff that I was, you know, I go to my grandma's on my mom's side. We can only watch TBS. Over at his house, we can lay in bed and watch Beavis and Butthead. You know what I mean? Right. Oh, sex, <laughs> sex animation. Yeah, sex animation, too. Right. Yeah. Do you have sex to Beavis and Butthead? <laughs> <laughs> so, what was who's who is your uh, uh, iconic music? Like, what, what what first turned you on to music? Who was your first? Um, so Al Green was the first oh person ever for me, man. I was in, I was in the fourth grade and I was living with my dad for a bit and I had this teacher, Miss Barry, and, um, she would, she told us one time, like, and I had just moved halfway into the year cause I moved in with my dad and, um, she, she was like, you know, if everybody just comes in after recess, shuts up and just does their workbook, we can listen to Al Green. And it's so crazy. In which grade? I was in fourth grade. So in fourth grade, she's offering people to finish, because I, I got to be honest with you, I like Al Green and I think he's amazing, but I don't know if that would be an impetus for me to finish my homework. If you finish- Well, that's what I thought. I said, who is Al Green? Because all these kids are walking to, I mean, from recess, like with the- bubble and the finger and then straight line like and i'm you know i'm asking my cousin I'm like who's out green How's he? he's like dude don't shut up don't ruin this for us you know and we get there and yeah that first song that comes on i'm so tired of i was just isn't like, al green sex music i feel like oh that's yeah it sure is <laughs> sex music. did you yeah. hear him just do that yeah you are and that was everything to me I you recorded on. that song too i i, I, did, I didn't do that one uh, on but, youtube you did uh, not, not tired of being alone. Oh. I, didn't, I didn't do actually. I don't think I recorded any uh, Al Green. I mean, I did a lot of. We did Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, but yeah, I don't think I, I don't think we recorded any Al Green, which is weird. Can I hear that? I'm so tired of being alone, man. We man, I, that song for me, uh, and you know, I'm so in love with you. Whatever you want to do, man, it was so powerful to me. I went home to my dad. and I was like, yo, dude, who is who is. Al Green is, you know, yeah, I mean, that was everything to me, you know, and he put me on, and I used to go, we could listen to Boys and Men at his ass and listen to, you know, a bunch of cool stuff, man. And I remember the first time he put me on a, like, Two Life crew because he's talking about his buddies in, eighth, you know, in, in high school that he grew up with, and he's like, yeah, put me on a real hip-hop, and he's like, look, son, you just can't, you just got to make sure you just don't go back to your mom and repeat this stuff you know <laughs> please don't please don't so, repeat this shit so nah. what is your genre then like what He's what's your i know but not just you like what's your favorite if you were to sit down 
and pick a genre of music or an album to listen to? What what's your go to? Because you just named so many different things. Um, my my first my first first my first favorite album of all time uh, is Songs in the Key of Life, but by uh, Stevie, Wonder. Stevie Wonder. It's my favorite favorite album. I think the most incredible album of all time. Um, but I think I think uh, for me, I think there's just ways that certain genres can provide a certain emotion better than the other one can. You know, if you want to yeah. go listen to a, if you want to listen to a good old, like, story being told about love, like, there's a good way that I think country music can tell you that story in a way that something else can. But if I want to, like, if I want to go have a good cry about a breakup, you know, I'm going to go listen to some ballads. I'm going to maybe listen to some Adele or some Louis Capaldi or something. You know what I mean? But if I want to go have Not a good Tay -Tay? old time. Yeah. Yeah. Even. Yeah. Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah. I, even that, especially, yeah. you know, but if I'm going to go like have a go, I know I'm about to go out and go to the bar with my buddies and we're going to go have a good old time. You know, I'm putting on hip hop. We're, we're feeling good about ourselves. We're getting ready to party. You know, there's, so there's certain things that are just like, if I'm putting on R and B, it's like, cause I'm laying down in bed with my girl and we might be, you know, getting frisky. You know what I mean? There's, there's, there's these certain Wait, things. Wait, I that, maybe didn't understand what you just said. You're laying Not down grandma. on bed. Not oh. grandma, girl. You need yeah. I lay down with my grandma. And I, I heard you saying you're laying down in bed and you and your grandma are getting frisky. <laughs> oh, no, not we're getting frisky. And I want to know what song. <laughs> no, I'm not getting frisky with my grandma, but. Um... Good, good. We want to clarify that. It's, for... it's, it's, it's somebody's grandma, I said. Somebody's with someone's grandma, not mine. No, you, not so you like out. older women? <laughs> are you with somebody right now? Or yeah, are you... I am. I am I'm with a. I'm very in love right now, man. And she's really, really wonderful. Is she in the business? Uh, she's not, man, which I think is really great. She's a she's an artist and a really great muralist and painter. And so she is uh she is she is very uh talented in in an artistic way, but just not doing what I'm doing. So Does she have you sing to her? Um, you know Does she say I want to hear a sex song? <laughs> she, she, she's, she's like, she's my biggest fan and she does listen to my music and I'll show her everything and she, she can give me good or bad advice or tell me like real, you know, real truth about it. But, uh, I, I, people, people ask that all the time to her too. And they're like, oh my God, you're, you're, you're like, so I bet he just sings to you all the time. And she's just like, you know, of course she's like, yeah, he sure does. But no, she's just like, God, can you just shut up sometimes? You know, really? When you really love somebody, you know, you get sick of hearing their voice sometimes. You know, maybe she's she's actually the good thing about us, man. I think she's one of the people I can have a real, real moment of silence with and enjoy it. Man, I find that the more I do this, my mom used to come pick me up from school and I want to hear my music. And she just turn it down I'm like, son, can we just sit in some damn silence for a minute? And now I'm at that same point in my life, too, where maybe it's because I do this for a living. But there's times I get in the car and I just want not be social, not hear music. Just be like, can I just sit next to you and we not say a word to each other and just comfortably be in silence together? And when you can do that with somebody, it's just like. Oh, it makes me so close to her just being like, don't open your mouth. I don't <laughs> open mine. And we're just going to sit together in comfortable silence, baby. I have to tell you, if my husband had a voice like yours, that would be like our biggest party trick. Like, look what my husband can do. <laughs> Go for it. Sing and just have him sing all the time. Never so. mind your husband. If I had a voice like yours, yeah. I just think that's even, <laughs> I think it's better than the ability uh, to play guitar, to play piano, to. I just think. It, I would want to hear myself. Like yeah, but I, you know, the thing is, with with, with hearing yourself too, is I, I think I think I've done a lot of a lot of a lot of work in studying to hear how the 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 voice works in the body, and so I know dynamically and scientifically and like you know, technically, I'm a great singer. But there is still that part of my voice that I don't know if you ever still feel this way, but. Even if you're talking and you're hearing yourself back after you've been like, hey, it's how, you know, check out, swipe up to this or whatever. I still hear my voice sometimes and I'm like, oh, you redneck. God, please. Like, you know, I still don't like my voice a lot of ways really? too. Nobody really likes the tone of their voice so much. You know? But okay, maybe you don't like your speaking voice. Do you, are you critical of your singing voice? Oh, even more so. And that's, really? why, that's why I've done so much work to that way. Even to myself, I can listen to it and I can be like, well... Nobody can deny the fact that that kid can sing, but I still am not the biggest fan of my tone or the biggest fan of That's exactly what I'm for. Well, everybody is. I got to yeah. tell you, I, he was on AGT and he sang with Journey, mm -hmm. and that was like, you took, you just ripped the roof off the place. Oh, man, I ran up to that. that. That's such a that's such an honor too to be. We we just did a like last week. I went and did a Christmas tree lighting at um 
at a the Warriors Chase Stadium and we did a Christmas tree lighting in front of all of you know San Francisco where they're from too and it was so cool to play I got to do lights and we're in the sky with them and it was just like oh my god I'm 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 a guy that like if 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 Arnell can't do it or if Steve Perry can't do it I'm the guy that they call to fill in for a voice like Steve Perry's is just such a such a ridiculous thing for me man You say that in an, in an exciting way is that does that ever make you nervous or do you feel like you got to live up to like these are iconic songs and i think that you you do you live up to it and 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 you know you're on the same level as like a steve perry i believe that you're just young and you haven't been around as long as we know these songs i think that people are gonna hold your name in the same esteem as they hold these great singers as more and more people get to know you and listen to you and know who you are but does it do you have that because this is an iconic song made by Steve Perry, does it? Do, do you get nervous about I, that? I, I don't. I, I. It does. It does. It gives me some uh, the affirmation that I want to be as big as that, and a little bit of self assurance that like I am going to be that. But uh, I think the only thing I got nervous about is like, dude, you mess up. Like, you know, even even if it's him singing as high as he high as he could, I'm like, I gotta practice these songs, and I'm not gonna drop. Like drop it a half a step or a full step. If you're gonna sing those songs, you better sing them like you better sing those songs the way they're meant to be sang. It's like you're not gonna go. I would hate to hear somebody. There's a song I'd believe that you just don't touch or don't cover if you're not exactly that. Like if you're gonna go sing uh, Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, you better bring it and all of it to exactly how it like you know do your thing with it. But it better be in the key the way it's supposed to be. You know there are song songs by some singers. You better like bring that to that. So how does that come to be? Does Journey? Did Neil call? How did how did you? How did, yeah. So we were in we were in a, we were in Europe on our tour and it was in like a, your own tour. Yeah, and it was like in Antwerp earlier this year and um there was a piano back in the back green room and uh you know my my pianist jj he just happened to be playing that don't stop believing and um so i heard it and started singing the first couple lines of it and my guy jar he he ended up filming it and he posts on tiktok and we're back there and my manager luke he just met he calls me like 30 minutes later and he's like oh my god man this is uh, whatever you posted 30 minutes ago like the label's calling freaking out about it it's over 500,000 views on tiktok oh i had something like that man, but it was a prolapse it was the same i didn't get the same calls you did <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy how it just went you know yeah, i know up, i, up, I, I hey you're talking you're preaching to the choir i just i know exactly what that's like <laughs> You don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, prolapse. I uh, there was a there's a picture that I I posted on TikTok. D d we won't show it here, but it, but there's a picture that he's look you're looking at right now. I didn't know what it was. And so it was a prolapse. Of, yeah, I mean, um, yeah. I get you. No, but I know it's kind of don't stop believing is kind of the same. <laughs> you, you know, what I mean, same look, kind of attention. Well, like just the, the, what he's describing. It's like my life. Journey called you. Uh, my my son called me and said, "Take that down, Dad." Well, you know that's also that's also. I mean, there's just not enough in the world. I would I would share I would share that if that happened to me because you know what, dude, that's <laughs> that's what it is. That's what it is. That's what we're missing from from uh, people that are that are that are successful at all, or that that are like people that are people look at that right. they, that we. There's so many people that protect them from you know themselves from being like in like acting in, inhuman or like deities to people that watch them and it's, it's wait a so, minute it's, wait a minute you're looking at the picture you think it's me no i mean is it is is, is it is it i mean i just i was i did i'm my bad my bad i didn't know that was you or not i don't know i don't it's know not who me. Was. okay it's okay not well, well, that's okay. good to hear. <laughs> that's good to hear i was gonna say i was proud of you for sharing that <laughs> for if sure. that was you <laughs> I was very, very proud of you if that was you for sharing that. So, so it's, okay, that's so fun. Oh, you got, you got to stop believing. You got to stop believing. I, I actually don't think you would have been in as much I meant trouble that's if so it was nice. yours. Like, oh, right. It's that you're not supposed to. I thought sharing is caring, but it doesn't. No. You know, that's what I'm saying. So, so within a half an hour, your your manager calls you and says this, this post. How embarrassing is that? I'm like, you know, I'm so proud of you for sharing that you prolapsed your anus, dude. It's not my anus. It wasn't my anus. I didn't know it was an anus it was an accident and but but it, i was just trying to um bond with you in your experience with a hit of song having something go viral 
That's exactly yes. right. That's okay. what I just said. Okay. He had something go viral. You had something go viral. The outcome was very different. Right. I yeah. Well, if I had prolapsed my anus, <laughs> that would be something I would totally not hide from anyone. I would just be so really? proud. I mean, I wouldn't be proud of a prolapsed anus, but I would say, hey, if this happens to you, it happens. Yeah. Don't be ashamed. <laughs> a, different, a, different group, <laughs> a different group would call you. So how long after this post and this thing that went viral did Journey call you? Dude, I think we, we had gotten up to like over... Instagram and TikTok, it had been like, um, we got up to like a hundred million views in like a couple weeks. And I mean, I, w I was at the time, I think I had like 500 something followers on Instagram and it went to two, two million and my TikTok rose like two million. I mean, it was everything that I'd done in like three, three years of my life had just trumped two weeks fourfold. And just one off song. of that one little, two, two lines of that song changed my entire i mean it's had the power of like the internet two lines of that song in a green room just changed everything that i worked for that took me three years to build is just completely quadrupled in in two weeks and he reaches out to me on instagram and just starts talking to me and you know and then we set up the agt thing and and of course man cody lee got to meet him too what a what a Joy. story yeah. man what a story He's got, well you have a story too so uh, that so that song was the biggest, m more than the Shania Twain. More than anything, and it, it, it ended up being something that we, you know, in turn uh, released on Spotify and made a version of it. But it was because of the AGT thing happening, and you know, they were, we were like, well, we should just put something, like get a version on it, so they can go listen to that play us on AGT and then go to my Spotify and hear that song if they want to hear my version of it. You it's know? amazing. Well, it really is amazing. So much, and man. what you did on AGT is really amazing. It yeah, really I got to tell you too about the time I, um, you know, I, I, so I was, I was so nervous. I was so nervous to like, um, I'm obviously such a, a fan of you, so I was so nervous when you started. I, I remember it was like time slowed down for me. I got to tell you, it was time slowed down for me when I started, you started walking up to me after sound check and I was like, in my head, I was just like, okay, 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 okay. Because I had told myself all day before that, do not reach out to shake a hand because you know how he's going to just give you a fist bump. <laughs> so I did this to myself. Where oh, I, I thought because I, you know he has a prolapsed anus. Yeah, so yeah don't shake his <laughs> Probably hand. Probably very sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, I said, I was doing like this with my hands as soon as you're walking up. I was like, if he's coming to talk to me, I just, you know that meme of Arthur where his hand's like yeah, just yeah. held down? So I just got it ready. I got it ready. And you walked up to me and it was like slow motion. And I just reached out like this real awkward and we made the pound boom and it was just like poof, i just felt like this release <laughs> of, and then you I, I just and then you then you had said as you said like you were talking to me and i just completely looked at you and i said like, oh my god i'm so sorry i didn't even hear what you were saying i just like completely was just i was so telling focused. you that i <laughs> i love what you do anytime <laughs> you have a post i follow you i listen to you your voice is just it's magic Thank it's you, not man. like and it's even, you know, uh, on some of the posts, you do it like rawly, you know, not with a big band or, or it's just, uh, well, I, I guess I'm not articulate in music, but without production, just yeah, the sound of yeah. your voice. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. It's a, it's the, I mean, it's the feeling you can do, you know, the feeling that you have behind anything, the intention you have behind anything, I think is if there's, if there's anything in the way of your intention or what you're doing, I mean, it could take away from what you're, what you're you sing in a shower. Yeah. I, oh man. All day, every day, man. I, I would never I, come out of the shower. I would, I'd say <laughs> you already never want to come out of the shower. <laughs> and I'm not entertained. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm noticing you got a lot of tats. Yeah, is there, what are the meanings behind? There's the, a lot of them that do have some, the face tats. Yeah, there's a lot of them that have a few meanings. The first one I ever got, uh, I got this one right here. This is a home at last. Um, Wait, the f that's the first tat you ever got was on your face? Well, no, the first face tat I oh, got okay. was on my face. Um, so when my granddad, you know, like I said, who's a Pentecostal pastor, he had uh, always told me, like, you know, son, the calling of God is without repentance. You know what you're called to do, who you're supposed to be. So just please just don't get a tattoo on your face. And uh, oh. when he passed away, I got, uh, I got one to... It was something my grandma said to me about in passing, and I was I thought it'd be funny if I, if I got something my first face tattoo commemorating the, the guy who told you his whole life. Yeah, face. Yeah. Face. I was like, you know, I, is that an honor? <laughs> well, I just said I just I just wanted to know that if I did get up to heaven and meet him, that he'd he'd whip my ass one more time. You know what I mean? That he'd be like, dude. 
God, why did you do you that? <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to just make him. He's my hero. So I wanted to find a way to piss him off one more time, make him roll over in his grave. You know what I'm saying? Just to, as a, in a <laughs> sweet, in a loving way. You know what I mean? Just to yeah, just piss sweet. him off one more time. Because I believe they're all amongst <laughs> us right now. So he's yeah. looking down right now. And, and proud is proud, but also like as the more I get, more he's just like <laughs> more. So what was the next face tattoo? Um, I got this uh, over your eye. I got this. Uh, yeah, I got patience. I think is over this side, and then is um, that is that also to your grandfather? Please have patience. And, 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 no, I was um, it was it was kind of to myself that it was gonna, you know, what I wanted to happen was, and I wanted to tattoo my face because I wanted to entertain the thought that like I was this is the only thing that I'm gonna do, you know, and this is the only way, so it's got to work out. And if it didn't, still, then I would be. Yeah, I don't know. Still working. On I'll be forty years old, living. On, I don't care where. Just to make How old sure are you? This is, I'm thirty. You're thirty. You just turned thirty. Yeah. So I'd, I'd, I'd have done this for the rest of my life. I'd have been seventy years old with a bunch of face tats, trying to make it happen. If I, I just refuse to believe that I could do any. I mean, my purpose and my like what I want to do. Sing. Is yeah, and that's the only thing I'm going to do. And, and that's is that all you've ever done? Is that is, um, I got it kind of involved in it when I was like 15, 14 years old, and that's when I really started like falling in love with it, man. I just okay, just sit right where you are, or maybe stand right where you are. Keep listening; you're going to want to hear this uh, because uh, the, in the next thirty seconds, you can learn how to get a reward valued up to two hundred dollars. That's worth a couple of seconds of your time, 30 seconds of your time, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, how? How? Yeah. Okay, how can they earn up to $200? Uh, well, listen and learn. Okay? I know what it is. I know what it is. Masterworks. Masterworks. <laughs> I knew it. Masterworks. Yeah. I love Masterworks. Masterworks lets you invest in fine art worth millions. And this is not an NFT, people. It's like Picasso, Monet, Banksy, all the real amazing art that you know about. Masterworks breaks these paintings into shares so you can invest without needing millions. Why would you invest in art? Because when inflation is high, like right now, mm -hmm. it's one of the few things that can actually go up in value and it's real, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how Masterworks, uh, that's how Masterworks uh, has produced results. Just by getting people to invest in shares of an actual piece of art, a masterpiece of art, you can do that. Even when the economy slows down, you can still do that. Masterworks actually sold a painting for a 21.5% net return. Okay. Which means that that's was really good. That's right? really good. So learn how to get up to $200 from Masterworks right now. Okay, how do you do that? When you sign up, with a special code at masterworks.art slash Howie, that's masterworks.art slash Howie, you can learn how to get up to $200. See important regulations and disclosures at masterworks.com slash CD. I just, all, that's all I ever wanted to do. Has the family been supportive? Yeah, very, man. My dad actually was the first one that, uh, so my mom has done, was a hair, you know, barber, barber and stuff my whole life. And so when I first got out of school, she was like, you should just go to barber school and, you know, uh, cosmetology school and just focus on doing this because I can kind of help you through it and you can focus on music and the, you can make your own schedule and look how you want and then you can focus on music inside. And I was on a trip to my with my dad and going to Texas and we do that every year. And he said, uh, he said, son, you know, I wish I could help you better than I could. And I wish I had money to fund you and do whatever I could. But he said, you know what? I, I didn't get a chance to pursue my, my dream. And I had you and your three beautiful brothers. And I don't take that back for word, but if I've worked my ass off my whole life to make sure you get to do something like this. And if you don't, pursue this promise me you never ever walk back into that school ever again and you never go back and you only pursue this for the rest of your life and um so i said yeah absolutely dad i'll do that and uh did he want to do music no he he was he was going to be a football player forever which was all three of my brothers and i just did we we're a big football family but it was just when i found this he he even when I sucked, he, you know, always had my back through it. And um and I tell I tell I tell parents all the time if I'm at my shows or anything or anybody I know that has kids, I'm like, do not do not take lightly the power you can give your children by giving them just the permission to follow their dreams because it it became more instead of following my dreams to not let my 
amazing father down after that. Like I'm gonna, you you gave me the permission, Dad, and I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that you know I'm gonna get this. And here we are, ten years and he's, later. And he's alive, right? He's yeah, with, and he's oh, the that's best, fantastic. best, best human. I, I I say it over and over again. I don't think Jesus on his best day could could be my father, man. Wow, he's the most incredible. What human. an honor is to God. hear that as a father, dude. Actually. He's the best person I've ever met in my life. I mean, you would meet him for five seconds, and anybody I spend my whole life with that thinks I'm a great person, I could they'd never be half the man he is. He's the most incredible human I've ever met. I could just cry anytime I talk about him and. I love and where him. are you in the threesome of children? Are you the oldest? No, I have an older brother and then me, and then I got two little brothers that have a different mom. And she's uh, well, schizophrenic bipolar, really not oh, around sorry. and horrible. And uh, so he's kind of, and me and my older brother has kind of raised them a lot ourselves. And, you know, he's just worked his ass off the whole time to be a mother and a father and a caretaker and a amazing Which, friend when and it sounds like you're uh they did something right because you're you seem like an amazing human being and and now you are getting into a position and yeah you're probably there now to take care of the people you i love. sure do man i sure do i get to i get i get to be in such a wonderful place now that uh you know my my best friends and my, my from middle school and high school and you know that they're all in my band and my i get a beautiful studio in atlanta and a place here that they can always come and I, and when we're off tour i still get to pay them salary to be i mean i get to take care of my friends and you know my my md and my best friend jj El piano he's got four kids and i get to know that they don't got to worry about where food's coming from on their table and i get to do you know i get to i get to take care of not to say that they need me to take care of them because they could have jobs and had jobs before I can't, you know, before this happened, but they choose to trust me and, 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 and I'll never you're, pay them enough. You know, I'll never take care of them enough, but nobody's ever going to love you, them like me though. But you God. tour and work and you've, you've released two albums yourself, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, three EPs I've put out. Three yes, EPs yourself, but you also uh, collaborate with people, Megan Trainer. Yeah. That was such a huge one for me too, man. How did She's, that come about? Um, so this, this guy stint, and uh, this guy, Rabel, who I've also written with, um, who did like really right before the pandemic, some of my first ever co-writes with me. Um, so she wrote with them and happened to, I was back in February when they first wrote this song, uh, Bad For Me. She, she was like, you guys know Teddy. Um, she said she was laying down with her husband, Daryl Sabara, the spy kid, you know, yeah. himself. <laughs> yeah. <right>? yeah. <laughs> um, she said he, she played it for him and he was like, this is the song that you need. Teddy on um and first first song like one of the first songs I ever put out with Warner was this song called Broke and she she had uh, hit me up on Twitter then which is like almost three years ago and was like oh my god this song's amazing I'm such a fan I just you know we chatted for a minute and so the first time I went over there to record that song with her uh she's just her her mom and her dad were there and I mean she's just really like such a family oriented beautiful person and they all rushed to me and you know her dad's like well you know uh you know the only reason Megan knows who you are is because uh because I I put her on to you you know and so it was her dad really that was uh oh wow that really brought us you know brought us together and uh she's she's just been telling me she's like she has this whole board of like you know mood board where she's like I want to collaborate with you and this person and this person and she just and it's such a very very intentional person like she wants this out of life write it down you get it you know so you say you do you write you write the music or? yeah right right man that's what i kind of got me into this to begin with because how I do you write do, what do you play do you play an instrument i play some piano man i produce a little bit but uh i can i can play things enough well enough to get my ideas across the table to write the singing and the, and the words to it but i can always just give you a some so, somewhat of an idea and have my best buds or somebody like you know just make this like how you would make it cool and, and, and interesting on the keys or the guitar or something like do that. Do you, you sit know? down to write or do you just... Uh... Yeah, definitely, man. There's there's so many ways that, you know, like sometimes we sometimes we just... Uh, they, they Somebody comes up with an instrumental or a chord progression or something and we go and just mumble at mics, you know, just sit in a microphone like this and hit play and just do a passive, just... We just mumble away with melodies and, you know, you'd be so surprised that, like, you... you, you Put a bunch of melodies together and then either that's a song or sometimes you sit with just an acoustic and you have an idea of what you want to like there might be something if we're in a conversation that you could say something really like moving to me and i'm right. like 
Oh, oh, Howie, let me write that down for a Have second. Have I said I'll anything you. moving today that <laughs> well, you could would end see up me, a song? You would see me pull my phone out and be like, I'm going to write something about this. And you, got nothing, you got nothing about the from the prolapse, Danis? There's not a like You, you a, know, I just, uh, I, I've never gone through, gone through that. You myself. should write a song about a prolapse. <laughs> you know, maybe. That'll be Can you think big. of it? Let's try to write something right now. About a prolapse. Yeah. A prolapse. Put on I got TikTok. I bet you pain, that'll. A pain in the, like it. it a, I didn't know what it was. I found out what a prolapsed anus was, and I posted it. Is this an idea? Uh, that's what happens. Okay, yeah. so, so you had just kind of like... Let's write something. I don't know what a prolapsed anus is. But then I... See, you, already, see? you already got this no, going just, on. You already see... to work with see, Teddy then, Swims or writing the prolapsed anus And then, then we see... And then that, it, just, it just goes like that, man. Go. C- it, take it from there. <laughs> I gave you the inspiration. Okay. Uh, a prolapse. A prolapse anus. Um, prolapse well, I didn't know what a prolapse anus was. I didn't know. And if know I had either. a little guitar, I can maybe oh, we, we can make it kind of country get, song. Get, get a I didn't get, know we'll what a prolapse anus was. I can get your keyboard was. or a guitar. I feel like this is country. This is for sure. But country. this is a story. It's like, don't look back. Don't look back. It should be like something like, don't look back. Right? Mm-hmm. Right? I don't know. I didn't know what a prolapse thing is for until I posted it. I got roasted. And mm, mm, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think we got something. I think we got something. I didn't know. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Kyle does music too. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't know. We got a guitar. Let's see if we can. If you have it. ideas for lyrics yeah. and stuff, just chime in. Here we can move that mic closer to the. Move that mic closer. That mic, Teddy. Move that mic closer to the guitar. Well, I'm just saying, I just, and this is really, I want to say to the listeners and the people watching, this is just a work in progress. This is not. Did you tell him who signed that guitar? I don't know who signed it. Who signed it? Flea. Oh, Flea. Uh, Flea. That's uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers guitar. Well, I feel like I shouldn't even tune it out. Just let it be out. (laughs) Well, I think, be out. It should be out. Yeah, it should be. Like a prolapse. Yeah, the, the, like the, a the, prolapse. The, 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 the tuning should just be out of tune. Like the, the, I love the, the way the you think. I love the way you think. Okay. Um, <laughs> it was it. You were inside of me. You were inside of me. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, you're on the key, doesn't it? You were inside of me. I now. felt like lightning struck my butt. Struck my butt. Okay, but you, we were uh, so in love. We were together, and now you left me. You left me. Because My anus was... left me. You were a pain in the ass, and now you're out. Yeah, you were a pain. You were a pain in my ass, but now I have. I carry that. Now you're a pain for, in my pants. Yeah, now you're no, a pain because in, now I carry that with me everywhere I go. Her. Oh wow! Did those ever? Did those heal? What? They heal. They go back in. I don't know. We can call They somebody. go back in. You can have a prolapse and it go back in. You can? Yeah. And I heard on H3 when you were on that you could also have a intentional prolapse, like on, on purpose, right? Is that I what don't, they were I saying? Don't, I don't know anything, but okay. that has nothing to do with the song. Yes, Ready? maybe for inspiration. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is just exactly how, this is how workshopping starts it right here. It could be here. for yeah. pleasure, too. Yeah. You, you can prolapse and feel that feels good. Yeah, for pleasure, no, some people no, do it. No, I don't think it's pleasurable. Go ahead. You know, speaking of speaking of not being able to speaking of not being able to see, yeah, I, I was watching these uh, TikToks the other day. Okay. Where um, <laughs> these girls, it says everybody, uh, it's uh, these flights coming back anywhere from Miami, mm-hmm. where they uh, they'll fly back from Miami after they got like a BBL and they can't sit down. Mm-hmm. And so I, I have to say the video where they have these BBL. These, what is a BBL? It's a, a Brazilian butt lift. It's where they get you know like a fake. I don't, well, I got, is I that where they, they go to do it? Fat uh, Miami. Taken out of yeah. their stomach and put in their butt. Okay, so they're and flying so, back from Miami and yeah, they get and a they, they can't sit. Brazilian to, butt lift. Yeah, and they have to they have to turn around and kind of like just you know put their ass in the air and and you know sit like the not whole. be able to sit down. So right. you're flying from what maybe Miami back to LA like the four hours sitting, <laughs> not being able to sit down, not being able to. Put your what are seat you saying? That's on. a better idea for a song. <laughs> no, I was just I was just thinking about the ability not to sit down. Uh, okay, we and flying okay. home. You so know? you're using that to write. Like maybe this I song. flew out. Maybe I flew out in Miami. Yeah, I flew 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 to Miami to go have uh, you know, a, 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 or I was just out there partying and I had a one night stand with a with with someone and now I have to fly all the way back from Miami and I can't sit down because my ass has been prolapsed. Oh, oh my god. You know, maybe there's, maybe, there's a real, maybe there's getting, a real love story here and I gotta oh. <laughs> I love how you can take it from 
you d- you just added heart, and there was yes, no heart in what in what exactly. I exactly. I'm hoping that I can post this moment, like when you get this <laughs> and this like believe. <laughs> I can't stop believing. Like within this, this is going to go huge. I'm just wondering who we're going to get the call from. <laughs> You know, like, you know, like that, uh, you know, it's like, it's like I'm taking you home with me, you know, and that's like I got a piece of you with me everywhere I go. That's beautiful. You know, it's like that. What, what they were talking about, these, uh, you know, that old, I'm carrying your love with me, west from me down to Tennessee. Uh, that, that it's kind of th- this trend on TikTok where it was like these girls were getting like, you know, came inside and they were making these videos about them carrying their love you know carrying your love with me it's so good because so, they so had, maybe there's they had, this, you're saying because they had they, they carried jizz, your, your jizz, jizz home in them, it, you know they, they kept yes. it inside of them i'm getting uncomfortable so now because like i'm this. sitting here with my daughter you know that i'm sitting with my you started this i didn't yeah. start it. i was well, talking about jizz, a pro life, life. Like, but you yes. took it from a brazilian butt lift travel trip from miami yeah, well, you can it, you can Mix your two stories and have it be a small town girl that has a prolapse. A prolapse. Yeah. Well, With see, and this is this is what I'm just, trying to explain about. So, right, you know, this is so much about the workshop where the idea. No, we're workshopping. Go. I get yeah, it. I get yeah. it. I get it. We're just riffing. This is what it's all. And about. I love this. Yeah. I I love you as an artist, and the fact that you're allowing me in behind the scenes of how we write a song, and it is, and. At first, I thought it was going to be funny, but now I realize it's it it's real. Be, it could be a real. It could be a real. It's real real intimate situation so where are we with this <laughs> let's work on the chorus okay um, <laughs> on the go go ahead mm, i'm taking you home with me mm, but i can't i'm sitting on the edge of my seat <laughs> all because it's intimacy left me with a, uh, left me with a is it a prolapsy? Does that yeah, yeah. I don't know. Just well, let me prolapsy. Prolapsy. I'm <laughs> taking you home with me. You know? <laughs> I like it. I love it. This is going to catch on. Yeah. You know, everybody talks about like an aching heart uh-huh. or, you know, just a, like, but this is, people don't talk about this stuff enough and they don't sing about this enough. And I think from what I've garnered from, just seeing how many people got upset about it or how many people, a lot of people can relate. Yeah, and I think, I think it should be, how, how can we not talk about, you know? I, I, how can I, we not talk about it? How can we not sing about it? How can we not sing about this? Here we go. Um, what was that? Where were we at? I'm taking you home with me. I'm in on the edge of my seat. Oh, God, you're in my seat. Uh, let me prolapse uh, Now there's a pain in my ass. Oh, you're a pain in my ass. Yes. yes. You're a pain in my ass. Yes. That, that let me. Uh, you won't let me relax. And now oh, I can't. Uh, I, I love that. And I can't. I can, I, I can never. Well, maybe what? what I don't know. He's when also I'm, a musician too. That's great. I'm now. Wow. I can't relax. Yeah, I like that. Because of, is you? <laughs> why, why you? I, you know, I'm so scared to say. I don't, I don't no, know if I'm going to say, say something it. that's going to go like you know overboard. Viral? And... No, you can never go overboard. And if your your management is here, I will edit out this he's this like, lyric. No, 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 no. Is he? Where is no, he? He's not doing that. He's, not, he's laughing his ass off. <laughs> he's, he's laughing his yeah. ass off. Oh, he's oh. laughing his ass off. <laughs> Now, Dad, I want to tell you about Mint Mobile. Okay, during I, the holiday season. It's the holiday season, right? Oh, you're going to tell me about Mint Mobile. Okay, no, I'm you not. Go ahead. Tell me about Mint Mobile, Dad. It's the best deal in wireless, and it can only be found at Mint Mobile. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yeah. What more do you want to tell me? Well, when you switch to Mint Mobile and buy any three-month plan, you'll get another three months for free. So like, you're getting actually six free. months mm-hmm. for the price of three. And it's the first company to sell premium wireless service online only. Oh. Only online. Wow. Mo- Mint Mobile lets you order and activate from home with eSIM while saving tons on phone plans starting at just $15 a month. That's way, 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 way cheap. And I know because I was spending a lot of money before Mint Mobile. Right. Super cheap. I've been using Mint Mobile long before this holiday deal. And I have to say it is the perfect time to switch. And it's the perfect holiday gift. So and and you know what? Mm -hmm. It's what's amazing is how much you're going to be saving 
by buying that three month plan. Mm -hmm. Because first of all, I think it's cheaper than most anyhow, mm -hmm. but by buying the three month plan, you're getting another three months free. So you're getting, it's kind of like half price, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easy and effortlessly with the eSIM like I talked about before. Or if you need a new device for a limited time, you could get six months of free service when you buy a select device and a plan. Okay, so, so switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. For limited time, buy any three-month Mint Mobile plan. And like you said, get three months for free by going to mintmobile.com slash Howie. That's mintmobile.com slash Howie. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash Howie. Uh-oh. I can see what we're talking about now. One of our sponsors. I love these guys. Shady Rays. Yeah, Shady I have, Rays. I have a bunch of these glasses. I have the ones I'm wearing. I have the ones in my hand. I just ordered two more. My daughter actually picked a couple pairs for me too. So let me just say something. Okay. And, and and it sounds like she's bougie. She's not bougie. You can get bougie looking glasses. You can get stylish looking glasses for a fraction of the price of other designer glasses. And they're really, the quality is just as good. You got great protection from the sun, mm -hmm. right? And here's the thing that I actually like about this. There is a money back guarantee or a, uh, protection, program. a protection program, right? Yeah. So here's the thing that I like about this. If you uh, lose the glasses, break the glasses, drop the glasses, they will send you a new uh, pair of glasses. And their protection program actually transfers to wh whoever you're getting it to or giving it to. So if you want to give them as a gift for the holidays, the protection Perfect. program transfers to them. So they are protected as well. Here's another thing that mm -hmm. I want to tell you that they, Shady Raids, also provides 10 meals to fight hunger in America with every order placed, and they've donated over 20 million meals to date. So not only are you doing something great for whoever you're buying a gift for or for yourself, you're doing something great for the world. You're saving and feeding needy people. Actually, Shady Raids is, but with your purchase, that is what's happening. And people love Shady Raids. Do you know how many five-star reviews they have? Uh, I think it's about 200,000, yeah. if I remember correctly. I was going to tell you that. Yes, it no, is. No, but I know to too. Okay. So exclusively for our listeners, Shady Rays is running their deepest deal of the season. Use code Howie for 50... 50% off. Yes. Whoa. 50% off two or more pairs at shadyrays.com. Buy one, get one for free. You can get two pairs for as low as $54. That's why I have so many because I love them. Oh, I know. And they're inexpensive. And they look like they're expensive. Mm -hmm. Redeem only at shadyrays.com where you can find all their newest and best shades. You look good. Thanks. So good. <laughs> Shady Rays. I love that. <laughs> So he won't relax. Kyle, he's not taking your input. Yeah, he did. He did. Oh, did he? Yeah, he did. I can't relax? Yeah. I don't know. What if, oh. This is, is this writer's block right now? This is writer's constipation. No, this is how... He is writer's constipation right now. Yeah, yes. this is it's... writer's constipation because we can't get the song out of our, I feel you, um, but there's always a but, right? When it comes yeah. to relationships. It's a book. A, yeah. Like she's perfect. You really she's, got a you got a knack for this. I do you have a knack, a really for, knack this. for this. I huh? do. I do. Yeah. Uh, I uh, you know you're perfect. We've been together. Um, I don't want it, things to change, but this one over. So off, but it's mine. The problem you're having is that the guitar is out of tune. Well, I, you know, it's, it's not near as big of a problem as the as what we're singing about. The prolapse. Yeah. The prolapse. So I think it might be. I think it might be. Uh, Nice. Our relationship has to prolapse. Our relationship, you know what? It's out. You were in me, and now you're out of me. You are. We were in the relationship. Yeah. And now we're out. You were calling me. <laughs> Colon. Well, you you, you won't heart. now. You won't quit calling me. Yeah. Now you, <laughs> sing it. Sing it. <laughs> sing it. Quit calling me. <laughs> Maybe that's the song. It's that is it. Quit calling me. Yeah, quit calling me. 
I love that. We just came up with the title. I heard a, a somebody on a, another show talk about they always start with the title. I don't know who who that was. Yeah, some of these times, yeah, dude. That's that's that's, that's the so old, this uh, is quit colon me. This the, yeah, that's the old uh, that's the old what do they call it that Nashville style, man. That's what that's what this I talk is about more when of you a say Nashville. something when you say something where you know it's just something like man, I have this happen too where I'm in a. Uh, you ever seen that movie? Uh, that uh, that old that John C. Riley. Um, uh, Walt Carr movie. Yeah. You know, where there's that one moment where she says something to him where she's mad at him. And he's like, he's like, you know what? I'm guilty as charged. And he's like, guilty as charged. And she's like, Dewey, don't you fucking start writing a song right now? You know, and it, <laughs> it happens to me so much, you know, in my, you know, my relationship, like, because sometimes we'll be in a fight and she'll say something really like, it should make her like, Totally win the fight and teach me something, and I'll just take it and be like, "Oh my God, that's a song I need to write about." You know, it's just like <laughs> you're not even listening to what I'm trying to say to you, but it's like, "Yes, I am, baby," and I think this could help so many people not be a shitty boyfriend. <laughs> 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 so I'm Boy, trying to turn say, it, you, you turn, turn it, it around. around. <laughs> really, that's not it. that I'm gonna be I'm not gonna quit being any different. You know, I'm just gonna. I remember uh, my wife once. I can't remember what she was upset about, but she looked at me and she went, "Howie, you are a fucking asshole." And I said to her, oh, that's great. Can I use that? <laughs> There's nothing not, worse than not that. A, There's not nothing worse than that. There's just nothing worse than this being able to use something that like she totally was trying to maybe hurt me with, you know? Yeah. Being like, no, I don't think my wife's trying to hurt me by calling me a fucking asshole. <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe she was trying to hey, help me, you know? Maybe that's me. another line for this song. Oh, yeah. You're trying to hurt me. Fucking asshole. Fucking asshole. You know, colon, stop colon me, you fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting so emotional now. This is getting, <laughs> it is amazing. The truth is, I'm sitting here with Teddy Swims, and, and Teddy, every song that I've ever heard you sing has so much emotion in it. And I don't know if it's your, if it's because of the tinder of your voice, it sounds like you sound like i don't think you could sing anything no matter how ridiculous it is without eliciting from the listener emotion oh yeah absolutely yeah that's it i think i think that's it yeah the biggest thing of it man if you could put the right right in, intention behind it you know i always say all the time uh singing is more acting i think than anything right it's just uh it's just an ability to push something that every note that better come out of your mouth is as long as you you can run all, like all over the place like the best of them but if you don't if every note that you're hitting hasn't have some sort of intention and something to make someone feel that that thing if it's not pushing some emotion out of you that needs to be like don't 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 hold a note for the for what for what let's make it sound like there's there's no song i'm ever going to sing where it's like all right bro we get it you can sing it's not about my ability to sing it's not like a guitar solo where i'm just shredding my ass off here it's like it better be every note i better hit needs to be something that i know, love that you uses, said that because i'm gonna that. i'm gonna use that not in a song but as a judge i haven't been able to articulate to people on agt but sometimes I go, you know, you, and I can't articulate it. I go, you're a really good singer. You're a really good singer. You hit every note you were supposed yeah. to hit. But I'm not feeling anything, and I don't know why I'm not feeling anything. And I'm not, I'm not, you know, it's obviously not your song. And that's okay. You can cover somebody else's song. Yeah, but, but you cover other people's songs, and I feel like I've never heard it like that before. Well, and I believe, you know, I believe what I'm saying. And also, too, it's like, a, you know, I, I always used to, I, I'll take it like this out. It's like a scripture, you know, like my my grandfather was like, might have passed. A, so as much as I've gone up in church, you might hear somebody that takes um, a a simple a certain verse from a Bible, you know, and they'll make a whole entire sermon about it. But then you go to the next service and somebody uses the same exact verse, verse yeah. and makes a whole different sermon with a whole different meaning to it. That they've gotten something completely outside of what you got from it, or maybe what even different than the guy that wrote it meant to even say. And that is, is not the entirety of music where like i say something and i wrote something that maybe i was totally writing about me or what i felt in this moment and it was meant to be viewed this way but somebody's got this completely other thing about it you know and they got this whole other idea of what it meant and it was just like wow i didn't think i i mean i definitely i guess i said that but i didn't i definitely wasn't saying that but you can go sing it and you can say that and influence somebody to take it that way you know? but even as a judge i've said to people I, because it's hard for me to articulate what i'm saying but i'm saying i didn't just hear you 
I feel you. Yeah, that's, you that know? should be the and, point. Yeah, that should be. But so many people don't know that and they don't do it. And I think it's because they're so, it's almost like they're listening to themselves instead of just. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's just making someone listen to them. Right. Yeah. So with every song you sang, and all the songs that I, we already talked about that you recorded on YouTube and like the Shania Twain song, now that you tell me that story about it meant so much to your mother, I mean, that's where maybe that emotion, I didn't get well, that. Well, I think that's why it worked that way. You know, I think, it, and, and, and like I said, in the original recording of it, it was, it was, uh, it started out with like, you know, I'm dedicating this to my mom and then I start the song. And so that's the original YouTube Can you sing video. that acapella a little bit? Yeah. Um, <coughs> it's amazing. Um, you still the one I run to, the one that I belong to. You still the one I want. For life, and it's just something you know. And, and that's I, a little boy talking to his mother. Yeah, for me it is. Right. For me, it totally but that's is. What is that your really mom's is. favorite video and song that you've ever oh, done? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. I, man. It, and 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 every day that I was uh, on the road, you know, too, and I was waiting. I mean, we were gone. I think we've done like 130 shows this year, and every time, and the closer this last tour that we were getting home, and I was like, man. I say it every day in those, you know, I'm four days away from saying my beautiful mother and I just can't wait to see her. And uh, So every time I sing that, it's still one of my favorite songs to sing because I'm counting down every day on that stage. Three days till I see your face, mama, and I know uh, somewhere, you know, she's, it's still her ringtone on her phone too. And, you know, and I get to say that in front of all these people every night that like, hey, I'm not singing this because this is your favorite. I'm singing this because my mama is three days from getting the, I'm getting a hugger, you know, and I'm, Hope wow! Just you, talking to us, you can make us emotional. Hope you, hope you got, hope you got a mama like that in your life. I mean, I'm I sure. Do. You know, I hope you got a, I hope yours your best friend like that. I hope you got some parents like that that I can, you could, I could talk so highly of mine. And and it's just people are so not that lucky to have what I got out of a, a parent. You know. You said your favorite album of all time is is Stevie Wonder. Have you had a chance to meet him and work with I him? I have not got the chance yet, man. And I definitely want to. Uh, it would it would mean everything to me. What's your favorite Stevie Wonder song? Um, see, that's so hard for me. But probably have to be. Um, it would definitely be on that album. I mean, that whole album for me is just such a hard, hard thing to choose from. Do you sing the songs in concert? His any of his? I have. I have. I, we've we've done before, and I have recorded a version of. Uh, um, <clears throat> Knocks me off my feet, which I think is one of the most beautiful songs ever. Man, there's a version of it I put out. I think it's just. You know, it's just like that. There's something about your love that makes me weak and knocks me off my feet. I don't want to bore you with it, but I love you. I love you. I love you. I don't want to bore you with it, but I love you. I love you more and more. I mean, like, what a beautiful thought, you know, to say, like, I don't want to talk. I don't want to keep telling you I love you and lose its 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 fervor. But I love you. I love you. I love you. And it's there's something so Those are beautiful. the lyrics. You're not just yeah, talking yeah, to me, yeah. right? I, well, okay, I, both, I was getting, both. I was getting a little too. Yeah, both. I'm a little reciting them. comfortable for a minute. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but it's it's so it's so that what 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 that says is like there's something about writing music or singing music that you're, you're never really gonna say anything that hasn't been said in love before. But when you can say, there's there's the difference of saying to somebody, "I love you" and um, "I love you, Hallie." You know, and there's just that's the now same I, sentence. You know, there's the same sentence there, but that 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 feeling I, I love and you singing. Too, yeah, see how you know, how great that just is like, or just love you, man, or like you know, I love you. No, and I love I love you, Teddy. Do you want me to leave the room? Not Should now, not now. But we were singing about the prolapse together, so we, <laughs> I feel like yeah, we're that close. Yeah, we're that like, close. I feel like we're one colon away from a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can stop calling me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and that, that that's the thing for me too is like I I, I used to uh man one of my, um and like like I don't know where my uh you know spiritual beliefs lie these days or anything, but I can always take those principles and those those meanings and those like intentions and I'll always take those with me, man. I heard something one time from a, a pastor and he said, you know, if you ask me who the most important person in the world is, it's you. Um, because, and when I got this time with you guys, there's like, I may never get it again. Or the next time we see each other, we're going to be right exactly where we left off because you're the only thing that has my attention. Like only thing that has my attention right now, you're everything to me that's ever going to be in my life right this very second. And I'm not going to be like 
on my phone while I'm trying to talk to you. I think we're here to have this like real connection for a moment, you know, and that, that is a, that, that's why like then in singing, I think it's, it's meant to be like that. It's, it's, if you say, I love you, you, there's nothing more powerful than saying the same thing that's already been said, but saying it with such intention that it's like, you're like, Oh my God, I'm getting, I've never heard. I love you like that before. That's what you do when you write songs. You don't say nothing new. You say it to, you teach somebody to listen to it in a way that they've never thought it could be said. Or. I could listen to you talk forever. I mean, even the tone in your voice when you and and the intention of what, how you explain the process, how you explain your life, how you explain that. is kind of is it's 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 mesmerizing. You know, oh, it really is. So much, even man. without the music, because you are kind of music. There's a lot of musicality in you without the instruments, without the singing. There really is. Everything you say and every answer you have, you you are something really special. Uh, as a 30-year-old, you're only a, you're just a kid. Oh, fair, yeah. yeah. Always will be, though. That's yeah, the... I was older than you when you were born. You know that? Wow. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm about to be, I'm, I'm 67. So, uh, you know, I was 37 when you were born. I was already seven years older than you are. You're just at the beginning. I really, truly believe that this is, um, that I'm getting to spend a moment with, I, I, listen, I didn't know who you were and I, I, I listened to, you gotta listen to any of these original YouTube um, yeah. kind of, uh, recordings that he did and I was just so bowled away and I feel like I'm watching the beginning of what is going to be known as an iconic leg legend and at some <laughs> point somebody's gonna that, somebody's gonna be sitting here who's 30 years old uh, 37 years from today and going you know that and talk about you the way you're talking about uh, Stevie Wonder you know that Teddy swims I heard this you know and and that's what the, will drive them and I truly believe that yeah, and I hope that's the I hope that's the case to one person I mean I just uh, you know, it's so beautiful that when you get to do something like recording, like like this, like recording a podcast or recording something, or you guys have this moment together. Do you have children at all? Yes, I have two. Okay, so like, and if 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 we do this right, you know, when by getting recorded in something, if it touches nobody else but those two kids, mm -hmm. there's something that's so powerful about them being able to go in. 20 years from now, 30 years from now, uh, listen to us talk about prolapse anus. And then oh like, they God, can yeah. always go back. Like if you're not here any longer, they can always go back and hear granddad's voice. Like talking about, talking prolapse, about prolapse, prolapse, prolapse anus. anus. But how powerful is that, man? Right. That you just totally like, and that's all I would want too, is like if I, when I, I do my have kids children. Rem, if nothing else, if nothing else, what I would like to be remembered. Papa, how is that guy that talked about prolapsed anus? Yeah. yeah. I'm the guy that posted the prolapsed anus wrote the song, helped write the song. Wrote the song, for sure. No, I helped, I helped. Uh, you're, you're so kind, you really are. <laughs> that, remember that song, Please Stop Calling? <laughs> My grandpa oh, helped. Please don't. <laughs> with Teddy Swims, he wrote it with Teddy Swims. <laughs> the iconic, legendary Teddy Swims and My Grandpa. My Papa. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Teddy, uh, you're going on. Tell me what we well, let's plug something. Well, you're going on tour now, or you're on tour? We just got off, man. I'm getting ready to. Uh, I'm finally at the beginning of this coming year, going into like real uh, full length album mode. You know, so it's all been like three EPs with it's been a a bunch of like great songs. As, as I write and write and write and write and write, you know, we always just kind of take maybe this good six and this good five or seven and put them out. But we're gonna go into real uh, album mode. I'm trying to put. I, put out like a real, real body of work, you know, like a, we're hoping to do like 27 songs on it, do something massive. In the and, 27, how weird is Don't Stop Colin, like uh, in that number? I mean, I'm not saying you have to pick the single right now, the next release. Well, that, that's definitely, saying, that's that's definitely, I mean, that's definitely coming out it. to be the one of the best I feel like that should be the hidden track. You know how like the Miseducation of Lauryn Hill had a hidden track at the end if you just like waited? And yeah, kept, there That you go. should be the hidden track. It's like, you don't know it's there until you, you take your pants off. I mean, oh, it doesn't wow. really work on Spotify, but like on, a, on an yeah, album. Secretly. So if they go to teddyswims.com, would that be the... Yeah, you can find. find uh, yeah, you can find. You can find teddyswims dot com. I mean, that's anything. That's you know, where all the information. And is. I think we have like a I don't know, like an email list or something. You want to sign up for that or like a, I do. Um, I mean, whatever Instagram or Facebook or YouTube or whatever. It's all under you, Teddy Swims. Anything that I say I'm about to do, I will be saying it on there. I have been following you. I will continue to follow you. Everybody who's watching this and uh, listening to this. 
uh, you got to listen to his music. You got to watch him. And this is the first time I've really seen anything. I had an opportunity to talk yeah. to you. You are you. You're living up to everything. Sometimes you see somebody who's great and you think they're incredibly talented, and then you talk to them for a minute and you go, "Oh no, shit!" Don't you, don't you hate that? <laughs> I do, and it happens to me a lot. Yeah. But you did not disappoint. I'm, I'm going to give you. You want wait? Some, if what? you go home and you write more of the song, can we hear it? Can you oh, send I it absolutely, to us? absolutely. We can do. I one. would like to do a TikTok with you with maybe with that song when it's when oh, it happens you, you i'm really actually gonna go and sit down and and, and work on this song I'll i really would, dance, even if it's even if it's dance. just for even if it's just for us to just like you know listen no to this it, is like, it's, it's not, not just for us. us it's for the world if we could just as you said just touch one person with our prolapsed anus song <laughs> then we've done our we've, job we've done a blessing, yeah yeah you want some stuff merch Yes, are you kidding? I'd okay, you want a want a hoodie? Want a I would love hoodie? all. Yeah, every. I mean, everything. Get him. Get, a, get him a hoodie. I'm gonna I get you some stuff. Howie merch, man. What? It's not Howie. It's Howie does. Howie does stuff merch. I love Howie. The does podcast. Howie. Yeah. We just started doing uh, getting it. So I just yeah. I just want you to. You're have a trendsetter. I I'll want you take to a two X, please, if you have that. Two X. I mean, I can wear one, but if it's a you know like two, no, it's be the best. No, I know. Uh, Jenny's wearing two X. Jenny, right there, the young lady. That's what. Are you two X? Yeah, Jenny? but she's not wearing it right now. I yeah, believe it or not, I wear a two X also. Yeah, I can totally believe that. Yeah, <laughs> she actually she does. does. <laughs> she she does. does. She took a two X. Yeah, yeah, she does. So we'll get you the merch, and then here is two X. Two X, right there. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Let's stuff. go, stuff. And, and yeah, if, That's if viewers sick. want to get it, where can they get it? Oh, if the viewers want to get it, where, how how do they get it? Howie Mandel dot com. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. That's my son who <laughs> to make sure I say everything I'm supposed to say. So you can go to HowieMandel.com. You didn't have to. You just have to come see Howie Mandel yeah, no, and you get the stuff. Me. Lucky me. You are lucky. You are the best. We are you lucky. You know what? what? And we'll give you a hat, a hat or something else too if you come out with a song. super duper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a song. Yeah, the stuff yes. hat all if day. The, the stuff hat will be yours. But not until you write, <laughs> please stop calling. Please stop calling. But then we'll get the please stop calling hat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it should be a hat. <laughs> anyway, we're going to end this. This is our theme song. Listen to this. Hear that? The podcast is over now, Ted. Did you have a good time? I, did, I had a time in my life, man. I Thanks did. for having me. Thank you so much for this being so here. so much fun. I want to be careful about how I move this. This is a lot of signatures on this bad boy.